What's up, everyone? Fair and unfair here. I'm fair. I'm unfair, and today we're going to smash, but uh, in oh. magic. <laughs> I think I'm buying me dinner first. <laughs> Smashing. But let's go ahead and get into this deck tech and smash. All right, guys, we got some gruel here. We got land orals to cast your dudes faster. We got Pulp Collector because he gets fat when bigger dudes enter the battlefield. He sees them get fat. He wants to get fat. We got Earthshaker Kendra because nobody wants to block him. Robber the Rich robs the Rich. Scavenger Gears eats things in the graveyard. He scavenges. Burden Tree Missary, our newly freed human shaman. Black the Black is back. It's pretty great. Uh, Dolly of Endless Dance, uh, Satyrs, which we play so many of, so many, I promise. Uh, you get buffed by this one. Uh, whenever you attack three more, you do the thing you can read. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant crushes things. Like, what's more cruel than that? Uh, cool Spellbreaker. Nobody can settle you. It's great. Questing Beast. I mean, I don't have to explain this. Word Soup. Yeah. And uh, if you have to explain this one, then they probably have never played Magic before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ember Cleaves. Really good. Really good with this guy. Yeah, true, true. Tur turns out this thing likes to hold swords. Uh, nothing really special about the sideboard except for Ancient Zigger Outs because they're mostly creatures. Shatter Skull Smashing because this card's really good. Uh, red Cat Melees for red things. And Braids. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Braids for artifacts and three toughness or less things. Heroic Interventions because rats can eat it. Uh, Cinder Vines. Just a good catch-all. Uh, Clothes for graveyard stuff, and it's pretty okay against control. Rhythm Wild, pretty okay against control. Color Darker Off, good against Grind. Okay, let's smash. All right, this hand looks fantastic. We get to start off with Lamor Elves and, get, and have a turn three Questing Beast, so I don't know about you, but that's exactly the kind of hand I want to have. That's okay. Yeah. And then not only that, but Shatter School Smashing is like our uh, our for sure last land. Uh, and Burning Tree. Oh, let's go. That's so good. We'd love to draw another one drop here, so that way we can utilize uh, the three mana we get to, uh, next turn. But like, even if we don't, we're still going to be in a really strong position. That's so good. Literally the best draw we could have gotten there, too. So now we get to go Pelt Collector into Burning Tree. Into Robert, Robert. Of, probably. Oh, absolutely. So that we can go and start to get value from it. And we got exiled a land, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this this deck is just extremely powerful because of the fact that it's able, like, they, they're spending so much time, like, doing things. Like, they're going to have one big spell next turn. You just bolt this in? Yeah, absolutely. And then smash a questing beast in and attack for a lot. Uh, yeah, it seems like an okay one. Yeah, so the opponent literally has to go Ugin into minus four in order to not die. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they have the exact play that mana. And that's not it, so we win. So you just double Kenra. Yep. <laughs> Wing. Yeah. And it's amazing that you can... <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Like, this is such a... Like, a, a lot of the two drops in this deck have haste, so that way you can utilize um, the Burning Tree Emissary's ability even more so. Like, you've got Robber of the Rich, you've got Earthshaker Kenra, and you've got Galia, is what her name is? Galia. Yeah. The Endless Stance. Literally, all of those cards have haste, so, like, whenever... When, when you're trying to get on the, your, like, your last couple points of damage in, you can go Burning Tree into a couple creatures, or you have just creatures that are immediately attacking for extra damage. I don't know about burning trees, man. You've seen California. Oh. <laughs> I mean, was it a boy or a girl? It was a boy. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's a turn four win in Historic. Uh, we cannot keep this, unfortunately. Um, it'd be really great if we had one more land. We would 100% keep this. Because, especially with the upgrades, it would be just so powerful. But we cannot afford to we skip even one land, miss one land drop. Um, this is literally the exact same, but worse, so we're going to pull that as well. Uh, this is strictly better, so we can keep this, probably put the Shatter Skull, yeah, Shatter and, Skull to the bottom. and oh, one of these to the bottom as well. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so that way we have our Stomping Ground for double colors, and then uh, we have enough spells that'll do stuff, Land War Elves, it's great. So yeah, it's, like this is honestly one of the best, like, this is five. The, the new best the archetype. Yeah, absolutely. Well, new again best archetype. Yeah. Being being able to just be this aggressive is really nice. They're being pretty aggressive too. They're scrying one with an undead lane. Yeah. Ooh, let's go. So we're gonna play this as a green source and I play, play them as a red source. 
I mean, that that was definitely a good option as well, but I, I don't know. It only matters if you're screwed off of red when, by the time you eat a cast ember flavor or something. Yeah. But other than that, like, we're trying to avoid losing life in random scenarios. I know it doesn't really matter in this specific matchup, and that's a great draw, too, that we can play next turn. So we're going to go Burning Tree into Robber of the Rich. Do that or Galia. Ooh, we could actually just play the Rules Spellbreaker. Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I, I forgot that it, you can use the extra henna as well and just put a counter on it, too. Yeah, we can just get it up the next turn. Absolutely. Well, if there's another land. Another land would be ideal as well. There you go. Literally a, a, a perfect draw. And uh, now we start smashing. That haste is just such a relevant ability. We can't discard anything, but the cool thing is now if we have any dead draws, we can just discard it to draw two using Galia. And they're also dead on turn four again. Exactly. Like, there, there is just so much power in being able to put an extra two power on the field for three. Good to see. Yeah, two extra power. Yeah. And the opponent has to make a creature here. Like, if we draw a, um, uh, what's his name? Bone Crusher Giant, we literally just pull, pull that and win. Or a braid or yeah, exactly. anything. So, so we can attack and yeah. draw two cards. Um, I actually think we attack with the Landwar Elves as well because. Yeah, they're not going to block it. Exactly. I actually. They, they, they can't It's almost lethal anyway. Exactly. And actually, is it lethal? It's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, hey, we can play a Nugan. that so they don't have enough mana to have a board wipe next turn either so i think that this is they, just a free win here they can gain four life off of the maze mine tunnel but, eh. i mean if they gain four life then like we're okay with that and also if uh, the game goes long we can play their ugin <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it feels really good just playing like a really strong aggressive deck and um that this is the reason why you can you can see like the, the opponent doesn't have much else they can do. And they also miss block here because Gruel Spellbreaker has Trample. Um, I'm going to keep the Ziggurat in your hand. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm not even going to cast this either because... Yeah, no, they, Yeah, exactly. We can make something unable to block. So they have to have a way to wipe the board or they lose. So yeah, now, like, if they, if they crack the Maze Mind Tome, they gain four life, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter. Yeah, we're like there are very few things the opponent can do here that'll actually affect us. Yeah, now we like we, we we have we have lethal on board without even having to do anything else, but we can do more, which is great. Like at, like look at that, absolutely. So now we can we actually are okay. We're probably doing everything because we can play the uh, actually. I'm just going to upgrade the uh, card token. Yeah. And then we also make the maze mind tome unable to uh, block. And that's how you win. Um, it's a very, very swift smashing. Exactly. This th this is just the power of having a really strong, aggressive deck. Um, but yeah, don't forget to follow us over on Twitter. On uh, And we stream every single Friday from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, if you want to find any of those links below. And we also have a Discord where you can come talk to us about other decks. Sometimes we play some really cool jinx. Sometimes we play stuff that wins on turn four three times in a row. Sometimes we smash. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much, and you guys have a fantastic day. Can't tell them what to do.